Welcome to the One Inside, an internal family systems podcast. I'm your host, Tammy Sallenberger. Here is a short meditation from Susan McConnell, the author of the incredible book, Somatic IFS. You know, I always start with, um, in fact, that's kind of also is what, what I talk about with that introductory paragraph. We have to start with ourselves. So you and I can both just, just simply turn our attention from interacting with each other and even thinking about the future, about how will this podcast go, but just to come back a little bit more deeply with our own, with our own, the fact that we're sitting here, right? Ah, so we just can notice the places in our body that are making contact with the floor of the chair. And you notice my, I slow down a bit because that, you know, that slowing down invites us to, to really be able to pay that kind of attention that our bodies ask for. So we can just begin with that, noticing that we're connected with the floor, with our chairs, feel the weight of our bodies, of our muscles and our bones. Just bringing our awareness to our bodies, we may also notice Sometimes my attention is drawn to places in my body where I I hold some tension. And sometimes simply being aware of that allows it to let go a little bit. Could be the jaw, somewhere else in the face or the head. Could be the back of the neck. Our shoulders. And we're not asking it to let go. We're just simply bringing our awareness to it. Like, oh, yeah. Little holding on in my shoulders this morning. And it it tends to dissolve as I pay attention to it. And then I go down a little bit lower. I notice my diaphragm, my respiratory diaphragm. Just the places that I know typically that I might hold tension my belly. And as I do all this, I notice I might make some very slight little shifts in my posture so that my body isn't fighting against gravity, but rather can be in harmony with this gentle weight of the force of gravity just hugging me to the earth. So instead of fighting it, I welcome it to just help me feel my place of belonging right where I am now. I don't need to be anywhere else but where I am right now. And as I do that, I'm noticing myself, I end up taking a fuller breath. Starting with that first practice of somatic awareness, which is what I've been guiding us in, kind of automatically leads to the next one, which is the awareness of our breathing, conscious breathing. We just know that we are breathing. We don't need to change it. But it's something, just being aware of our breathing, it's something that we often don't do. It's always just a a moment away, a breath away, literally. And it can be very profound, right? It's like we both feel that, just going, oh, yeah, noticing the inhale, just noticing the sensations as we let the air come into our lungs and then different sensations as the, as the air leaves our lungs, leaves our body, leaves our throat and our mouth and our nose. After a few breaths, we can even begin to enjoy the rhythm, maybe even be soothed or lulled by the rhythm of our breath. It's one of the many rhythms of our body. And most people find it pretty relaxing and and a rhythm that just helps us to increase our ability to be present. 
And, you know, these two practices are really very foundational for entering into a relationship, which is what you'd suggested, like so, so that we can be more present to each other. Because as we, as we feel anchored to our, 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 our rooted, maybe is a better word, to our place where we belong, our home, our, our, uh, our mother, really, reconnecting with that um, first connection and then opening to the opening to the infinite space around us and breathing in that space breathing in a bit more spaciousness so we any agendas that we may have been holding on to or any concerns or fears we can just kind of let them go as we just relax into this breath that actually is just a wonderful resource as we enter into this relational realm so as you and i just enjoy this exploration that will unfold together, we, we have established a really good foundation with, uh, with the earth and with the sky, which are the two elements that I associate with these two practices. So we, we enter into the, the third of the practices right now, as we shift our awareness just from our own body and mind and our own internal system to this relationship between you and I as we are gazing at each other on this on our screens. And, um, and the, I'll just mention that the element that goes along with this uh, third practice, which is resonance. And I always put an adjective in front of each of the, the words, so it's a radical resonance. So the element associated with radical resonance is the element of water. And that's, that's such a wonderful um, element to help us in relationship. Yeah, right, you're just moving and shifting and me too, just sort of feeling into the wateriness of all the systems of my body, you know, knowing that we are three force water, so it's very easy to access our fluid nature and we can trust, we can just trust the uh, ever, ever flowing aspects of relationship, right? And, yeah, so we'll just, I'll stop there for now, okay, just, uh, and, uh, and, and just would um, um, say a word maybe to the people who've been listening to this, and just to take a moment too, as we do, Tammy, to notice any shifts from those few minutes of, of um, guiding through the first, mainly the first two parts and opening to the third one. Thanks for hanging out today. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this episode, share it with a friend and leave a review. You can follow me on Instagram at IFS Tammy and join our community on Facebook at the One Inside Podcast. Talk to you next time.